Hi everyone, it's Kina McGregor. I'm here on South Beach at Miami Life Center where I teach classes where we have a lot of great yoga classes. So if you're interested in yoga, maybe if you joined the class last week, we're gonna be doing these weekly filming. So be sure to tune in every Monday and check us out on Twitter, on Miami TV and at my Twitter, Kino McGregor, to so make sure you know when we're filming because I travel a lot also in case the date changes. Now, whatever you think you know about yoga, I'd like you to just open your mind a little bit. Some people think that you know yoga is real easy or it's all just really kind of boring but I like to present with to you a new idea of how yoga can actually transform your life from the inside out now the postures of Ashtanga yoga which is the kind of yoga that I do and teach um, are also really challenging so you build strength and flexibility and you get to challenge yourself at the limit of who you know yourself to be so when these postures are really challenging they also cleanse the body now cleansing is something that is really important because just like you want to sort of give your house a deep spring cleaning your body needs that deep spring cleaning too now doing yoga is in itself a purification so you don't ever need to do maybe anything else other than a nice deep yoga practice but doing all of that cleansing work like today's class is going to be all about twisting and twisting is a deep cleanse of the inner body it gets all the digestive system really open and cleansed and free and everything moving and happy down there in your tummy and in your torso so when you spend all that time in these yoga postures getting deep into the inner organs and getting them all purified you somehow start to really reflect on the diet so what you put into your body makes a direct impact on how flexible the body is how strong the body is how young you feel and how young you look no matter how old you are so yoga starts with that tool of body awareness of self-awareness dietary choices in the yoga world are really really important again because what you eat affects what your body is it's the your food is the building blocks of the inner body and the outer body as well so we have the idea that food is a way that we can actually honor ourselves to create a really good relationship with ourselves. So if you eat a lot of junk food and if you eat a lot of unhealthy food that can clog up your system, you'll come to the yoga practice and you'll feel really stiff. But if you slowly start to be inspired to change your diet and maybe eat a few more salads and eat things that are more healthy and more pure and maybe if you try to do a few juice fasts and experience the true lightness inside of the body, you'll be you know really inspired to feel lighter, more free, more flexible, deep within the body. And as soon as the body feels good, mm, your mind is so clear and sharp, right? So if you've never thought about how your diet directly impacts your energy, if you eat better and you take more responsible choices in terms of what food you put into your body, then you'll actually be you know, more shiny in your mind. You'll be more effective in your life. One other important thing that yoga asks in terms of our diet is that we are asked, because yoga is all about consciousness, we're has to take responsibility for our dietary choices so rather than just saying mm, that tastes good I want to eat that we have to think you know you have to think be responsible what is the food that you're eating where did it come from what do you want to you know what do you want to say yes to essentially and let it merge with your body maybe there's no more intimate act maybe accept the true intimate act between two people behind closed doors in the bedroom that you make with food because food you know becomes who you are right you eat something and mm, you digest it it actually becomes your tissues and you know the, the tissues of your body now since I've been doing yoga I've actually been vegetarian not everyone that does yoga has to be vegetarian so don't be scared right off the bat but I came to the choice to eat a vegetarian diet from the moral and ethical principle of um, you know not harming other beings so yoga is also a a way to live a more peaceful life and for me that just felt as one small step that I could take uh, towards creating that more peaceful life I'm a big animal lover I love animals I grew up with dogs and I after going to India many times I guess I never really um, I, I, all, all the differences between the different animals started to all blend together so I saw the same you know open the, the same love that I felt for the, the my family pet as I did for all the animals on the streets of India so I thought you know how can I eat these um, then I stopped and ultimately my yoga practice was also more flexible Okay, so enough about the diet choices for now. Let's actually do some yoga. So today we're going to start off nice and easy. 
And this nice easy way for us to start is lying down. All right, so that should not be any problem. We can all lie down. Hope you can lie down too, okay? So we're gonna start off with a nice easy reclining twist. You don't need to warm up in any way from this because it's so easy and relaxing. If you ever feel stress in your back throughout the day, this can also be done from here. So this easy reclining twist, we're gonna start on the right side. Inhale, pull the right knee into your chest, keeping the knee and the foot aligned with each other. Just to wake up the whole spine, I want you to lift your head off of the ground. Hold it for a moment, just activating the core of the body, and then exhale, place it down. Now the nice, easy reclining twist, inhale, exhale, twist your body over to the left, take the right hand and drop it out to the side. Okay, no stress here, we're just warming up the body. Nice, easy opening. You should feel a little bit of um, gentle tugging on the pec muscles right up here and a nice sense of elongation. If you're able to, you can let your head turn all the way to the side and gaze right at your right fingers. And then with a little gentle pressure with your left hand, press on the right knee and we'll make it a little bit active. And then inhale, let's come all the way back to the center. Okay, let's hug on that right knee. And then exhale, let's place it down. Okay, let's try the left side. Then inhale, pull the left side in, pull the knee into the chest, and then gently bring your head up and just activate the core a little bit, keep both legs engaged. Exhale down. Nice and easy, we're gonna go over to the right side. So inhale, and then exhale, pull that knee all the way over and take your right hand and pull it onto the thigh. You can let your hips twist over to the side, then the left hand, inhale, and then as you exhale, oh, just drop it over. This should be a nice deep movement through the sacrum, through your legs, and then just gently allow yourself to gaze towards those left fingers. That nice little tug that you might be feeling right through the pec muscles, no problem. That's essentially why we're doing this. So here we begin to feel all the digestive systems getting that nice little twist. Twisting is like kind of like wringing out the towel, you know, like when you have a dish towel and it's full of water and then you wring it out. So twisting does that to the inner organs, all right? So it's a nice way to really cleanse from the inner body. Okay, let's pull it all the way in. And both knees come in and let's roll over to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna start some fire in the body. So we're really gonna start to get the movement happening. Bend your knees and take your hands forward. Then press through your legs and inhale, come all the way up to a standing position. So in the very first class that we did together, we went over the sun salutations. We're gonna break down sun salutation B, which is a very vigorous sun salutation. We're gonna hold the postures for a little bit just to make sure that you're fully warmed up before you begin any more deep twisting, okay? Starting from the hip joints, bend your knees. Inhale, raise the arms. We're gonna hold this for five breaths. This posture is called Utkatasana, and it really helps align the pelvis and lets energy reach out through the fingertips as you suck in the belly and you're nice and firm through the thighs. Breathe deep in through the lungs while keeping the low belly drawn in. Don't push the belly out and then exhale, fold forward. That's the movement we're gonna hold for five breaths right there. This one will just take it easy and fold as far as you can down. If you can't fold all the way down, just hold on to your ankles and hang down as much as possible, but eventually we're all the way down. Then inhale, lift your chest and look up. Let your spine rise forward and look up. And then exhale, step back. Lower yourself down and straighten out the arms. Take the shoulders over the hands and exhale. Bend your elbows and come to a push-up position. From here, inhale, roll forward to the upward facing dog. Press through the arms and exhale, downward facing dog. Now the next component of the, the Surya Namaskar B is warrior one. So step forward with the right foot, planting the back heel down. Send your right knee forward and press down. Inhale, raise the arms above the head and we're gonna hold it here just for a little bit. This is a nice invigorating posture. Firm the thigh muscles, raise the arms over the head which always increases cardiovascular function. Press the palms into each other, gaze right at the thumbs, let the arms and the legs be nice and firm. You should feel a little burning in your right thigh, that's totally good. And then exhale, take your hands down and we're gonna float that leg back to the plank position and then exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Roll to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, step the right foot out and the left foot forward. And if possible, we'll align the left heel with the right arch, sink down into your feet and inhale, raise the arms above the head and hold it here. Press through the foundation through your legs. Send that left knee forward, gaze up at the thumb, squeeze the elbows towards each other, suck the belly in and reach up, up, up through the fingertips, up, up, up through the fingertips. Your legs should be working nice and strong. Long inhalation, long exhalation and exhale, lower your hands to the ground. 
Bend your elbows, push-up position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Remember, if you can't do the push-up, you can put your chest on the ground, but try to keep the chest off the ground, because that'll work your arms. Inhale, roll forward to the upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. Okay, downward facing. Let's hold it here for a few breaths. Equalize inhalation, equalize exhalation. Control the mind as well as the body. Roll the shoulders open. Suck the belly in and press through your thighs. If your feet aren't on the ground, just keep engaging your legs. One day they'll be on the ground. And then inhale, look forward. Step your feet forward. Lift your head and look up. And then exhale, let's fold forward again. Good. Then bend your knees and we're gonna hold this posture again. Press your palms and raise the hands above. Pressing down through your heels. And then exhale all the way back to standing. Okay, so you should feel some fire, heat moving in the body. I hope you feel that, you know, with the sensation of cleansing coming from within. It's heat and fire that burn through impurities, and that heat is generated internally. You don't need to make the room super hot. Anyway, it's here in beautiful, tropical, sunny Miami, Florida. We never really need to add much heat. 89 degrees in October. So all we have to do is generate that internal fire. Okay, now we'll move on. Inhale, take this foot out to the side. You're gonna start off in a nice parallel position, and then rotate all the way over. Over, all right now from here align your hips and we're gonna fold forward initiating a deep twist in through the lower belly exhale fold forward and first take your hands right onto your ankle and once you reach the ankle fingertips on the ground if your fingertips don't reach the ground you can grab a block maybe two blocks and place them right here so you can reach to the ground but after the fingertips are on the ground you press them down then find the left side of your low belly pull it in and move it over cross the plane of the body taking the left hand down then inhale and exhale if you can flatten the hand down and then inhale lift your right arm and if you can't press the floor you can just stay up here holding on to the ankle all right so we'll stay here firming your thighs find your balance and press down through your feet twist your body from the inside out so you can feel the left side of the pelvis move it in pack it to the right left side of the rib cage move in pack to the right and then exhale take your hands down align yourself forward inhale lift your chest look up exhale inhale nice and slow let's roll all the way up and we're gonna do the other side pivot your feet around square off your hips all the way forward Take a moment, equalize, inhalation, exhalation. Never lose the calmness of your mind. The yoga is both an inward, inner practice and a physical practice. If you orient too much to the physical, you lose the mental, then we miss the whole purpose of the journey. Then exhale, fold forward, and again, hands here. If you can, you reach down and take the fingers here. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. And then exhale, right hand crosses over. Cross the center line so you feel the lower belly moving over. You feel the rib cage moving over. And remember, you can always press on a block or just keep holding onto your ankle. And then exhale, flatten your hand. And as you flatten the hand, inhale, lift the left arm. And we'll stay here for a little bit, just settling into the posture, moving deep through the corners of the body so we can feel the right side of the belly move in, pack to the left. Feel yourself cleansing your whole body from the inside out so you can feel the purity of the natural state of your body, the energy that runs through the entire body when you're calm and at peace with yourself. And then exhale, take the hands down. Move your fit hands on either side of your feet, and then inhale, let's roll the spine all the way up. Take your feet all the way forward. Okay, now let's see if we can increase that twist just a little bit more, okay? So take your feet a little wider apart. We're gonna do this from a lunging position. Take the left knee on the ground like this. Now, we'll try to actually fold our whole body around the thigh, so it's gonna be pretty intense. No matter how much stuff you think you've got down here, we're gonna pick it up and move it deeply over, all right? So, send the right knee forward, and then lean over to the side like this, and then stretch your left hand up, and then exhale, fold into the right hip joint, all right? Now, some of you who can't fold all the way down, you might wanna take your hands in the prayer position from here. I'm not sure everyone can see me, so I might actually turn forward, all right? So this might be a little easier for you to see, okay? Now, from here, 
you're going to fold down. If your hand can't reach the ground, you can take the hands gently in prayer position. Or if your fingertips reach the ground, you can just stay there working them down. You should feel deep movement inside of the belly as the whole belly moves all the way over. Then inhale, lift your right arm. Exhale, extend it over. Only if you can reach the arms over and then lean, lean forward and inhale. Come off of the ground. This is harder than it looks, all right? So keep the pelvis aligned forward. Your gaze is right at your right fingers and the whole body is really twisting from the inside out. So you can feel the whole digestive system really getting cleansed, energy moving to all the organs, deep fluid breathing is bringing health and vitality through the whole body. And we're feeling that deep benefit of being able to feel the whole body from the inside out. And then exhale, let's take the knee down and come all the way back up. All right, so if you start off on the right side, you are all the way over here. Then we're gonna do the left side, okay? So take the right knee down and I'll just orient forward so you can see me here, okay? So pointing forward, make sure you have the left knee aligned with the hip joint, sucking the belly in. We're getting into the digestive system. So pull in, wrap it all the way around and there's an inward rotation of the left hip joint. Take the hand to the ground. If your hand doesn't reach the ground, hold onto your forearm, like if your fingertips are up there and just press down. Or maybe if the first time you've ever tried, take your hands in prayer and just easy look over the left shoulder. Then if it's possible to go a little bit deeper, find your belly, suck it in and pack it into that left hip joint. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, extend it overhead. Stay here if you don't have the balance, but if you have the balance, send that left knee forward and inhale all the way off the ground. Gaze at your left fingers. Feel yourself twisting in towards the center line of the body. This is a challenge to your balance. Your mind might be worrying right now. If you feel any intensity in the body that's totally normal, let the body really work deeply and feel the benefit of the cleansing posture. And exhale, hand down, knee down. When it's time to come out, pick your spine all the way up. Lift yourself up, spread out your arms to equalize the body and the shoulders. And then exhale, return to the front of your mat. You should feel some perspiration, some fire, some heat moving in the body. All right, so now we're gonna move into some seated postures. Inhale, raise the hands above the head. And then exhale, fold forward, go all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest and look up. Exhale, step back, hold the plank position for a moment. Take the shoulders over the hands and exhale lower down. Inhale, roll over your toes, upward facing. Exhale, roll back, downward facing. From downward facing dog, take your shoulders forward over your hands, and then, first time easy, step the right foot forward, step the left foot forward, sink your hips down. After your hips sink down, stretch your feet out in between your hands. Try not to move your hands. This is gonna help you build a nice solid program for some deeper postures that come later. All right, now we'll prepare the shoulders. Starting off in Dandasana position, which is a nice, easy prepare position. We're gonna bend the right knee for a posture called Marichasana A. Leave a hand's distance between your foot and your thigh, moving it out to the side. Now whenever I do Marichasana A, I like to feel the movement coming from the hips, not just from the shoulders, but we're gonna work on the shoulders, but feel the movement coming from the hips. So reach forward and around, like you separate your torso from your thigh, then roll your shoulder forward, and as you roll the shoulder forward, squeeze the knee onto the shoulder, and then wrap it around, all right? Then inhale, lift your left elbow, and exhale, grab your fingers together. Now this might look a little intimidating, but it's not that hard if you really try, all right? If you can't reach your hands, grab a towel and just hold on to the towel right behind your back, no problem, okay? Then inhale, lift your chest and look up. And then exhale, bend from your hips towards the left leg, all right? Sucking the belly strongly in. This is a great posture to easy open the back, easy open the shoulders. Feel the strength coming deep within the body, sucking the belly strongly in. Feel yourself, find that sense of peace and relaxation in the posture. And after a few breaths, inhale, lift your head and look up. And then exhale, stretch out your legs and cross your shins, okay? Take the hands forward and let's see if we can lift the body off the ground, adding a little strength. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, move the feet back. Step your legs all the way back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale. 
downward facing. Okay, let's look forward and we'll do it again. Inhale, this time hop the feet forward. After you hop the feet forward, try to keep your butt in the air. Wiggle, 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 and the feet all the way through. If that gets hard, remember, you can always just sit down, but try to do the work, right? Because the yoga practice is about that combination of strength and flexibility, strength of the mind as well as the body. Then, hand down, reach forward. I'm gonna do the other side. Take the left shoulder forward, bending from the hips, internally rotate the left shoulder, get it in place. And now if you have that towel, if you couldn't bind, you can grab onto the towel with your right hand. But if you're just going for the bind, inhale, lift your right elbow, exhale, clasp the hands or the fingers together behind your back, all right? Inhale, firm your right thigh, and then exhale, fold forward towards the right side. Sucking the belly strongly in. Feel the integration of strength and flexibility in the body. The pelvis is nice and open. The shoulders are rolled forward into internal rotation. And the whole body bends and orients forward towards the right side. Equalizing your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Sucking the belly strongly in. And after a few deep breaths to settle, inhale, look up. Exhale, take your hands down. Let's try to lift up again. So this is where the strength really comes into practice. Get the arm strength as well as the core strength, okay? Inhale this time. Can you take it all the way off the ground? Exhale, see if you can stretch your feet all the way back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now we're ready for the final twist that we're gonna do today. So go ahead and jump forward and see if you can wiggle and slide through. All right, so Marichasana C, all right, is a posture that we're gonna try today. It's a nice deep twist. So if you start off in that Dandasana position and you bend your right knee into your body and you hug it all the way in, all right? And we're going to move the whole torso around the right side. Then take the right hand back, suck the belly in and wrap yourself all the way around, all right? So when you find that movement, it comes from the left side, wrap it all the way around. Then curl the left shoulder forward, hand up and look to the right. This is the easiest version of the posture that we'll do. So get comfortable here. Try not to push too hard with the shoulder, but let the movement happen from the core of the body. And then gently roll the left shoulder forward and down, wrapping it around. And that wrapping is important. Your elbow has to get forward of your shin. Now feel the movement controlled with the internal obliques, right, with the abdominal muscles leaning and wrapping around. Then inhale, lift the right arm up in the air. And then exhale, clasp your fingers together. If you can't hold on to your fingers, you can hold on to a towel or you can return to that easy version that we started off with. Try to equalize your pelvis as much as possible and after you bind or you reach the maximum, lift your chest but keep rolling that left shoulder forward and around and find a sense of relaxation in the posture. So you have to be able to breathe even though the breath might be a little compressed. First time I did this, I felt like I couldn't breathe through the rib cage, but suck the ribs in and breathe, find the space, and you'll cleanse the ribs and the lungs as well. And then inhale and exhale, release. Then cross your shins, pull the knees into the body, All right? So this is some strong upper body work as well. If it's too challenging, keep your feet on the ground, but let's give it a try. Inhale, lift up off the ground. Exhale, jump all the way back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Then from here, look forward and inhale. Jump your feet forward, slide through the toes, lower down. Okay, left side, here we go. Starting off in that Dandasana position. Bend your left knee, pull it all the way in. Then, finding that little hands distance between your thigh and your left foot. Then inhale, starting off, we're really gonna again, work the, 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 the digestive system, work the inner organs, take the left hand back, orient from the internal obliques on the right side, pull in, wrap it around to the left. Let's just do that one more time. Pull in, wrap it around to the left, and then fold your whole torso around that left thigh. So anyone who wants a nice thin waist, all right, if that's interesting for you, think about cleansing with the power of twisting. Now from here you wanna look, to the left, all right? So we find that movement coming from deep within the body, get comfortable here. If you're not comfortable here, we don't wanna go on, but if you can, wrap that elbow around, inhale, lift the left arm, exhale, reach it together, hold on nice and tight, and look over to the side. Steady here, we're almost done. So strong, steady breath, find that balance between activation and release, Work yourself into the posture from the strength through the core of the body and find the internal obliques as well as the calmness and the steadiness of the mind. Inhale 
and exhale down. Almost done. Okay, we're going to jump back, jump through one more time. Hands forward, lift the whole body off the ground. Inhale up. Exhale, jump back, lower down. Remember, if it's too hard, you can always walk. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. And then bend your knees, inhale. Jump forward and through. And that's how far we're going to get into the twisting today. Remember that the movement through the body and the mind is always deep and strong so that you never want to find yourself completely you know, imbalanced where you work too much flexibility or work too much strength. When we are doing yoga, it's about that internal process as much as the external process. One last thing before we finally end today after any yoga practice. Always have to rest and at least lie down for a few moments, okay? So gently bend your knees and lie all the way down and take the palms out, knees together, stretch out your legs and just for a moment notice that nice happy sensation in the body when you've worked really deeply the breath is long, steady and deep and your mind is completely soft. These few moments of relaxation are the hard work of the practice and now they're paying off so this time, if possible, let go of all activation. So now we feel a calm mind. Release your bones into the floor. Release the skin of the body. Release the muscular work. Soften your breath. A nice smile of gratitude rests over the lips. And then a nice long inhalation. And as you exhale, bend your knees and your arms, bringing your hands together. Open the eyes. Inhale, exhale, wrap yourself into a little ball of gratitude. And then exhale, roll over to the side. Inhale, let's roll all the way up. And then return to a comfortable seated position. One last thing for today, we're going to try yoga mudra, which we haven't done before. Take your first two fingers together, roll the fingers all the way open like this, and the chin down. All right. So you can sit comfortable and cross-legged, that's fine. If you can do a lotus position, you can sit in the lotus position, but it's not necessary. And now we begin to move into a slightly more meditative state. The mind should be open as the body is calm and relaxed. Let your gaze be right at the tip of the nose. And allow that energy of the practice to make you simultaneously more strong in the mind, more free and open in the body, and more energized in your whole life. I hope you're inspired to practice every day. Cool, and we've got a little live feed for you right here. So remember to tune in every week, all right? So we're gonna be filming these live from South Beach. Anywhere in the world you can tune in. So if you found me somewhere, remember you can see it right in your mobile phone and you'll be able to find that inner piece of yoga wherever you are in the whole world. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'm Kino, have a great day.